Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video, and this time we are. I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, Garagax Sewer to make a really um, all-looking uh, armor or metal. Okay, so we have here this zombie from the Warhammer Underworlds, and we are going to weather a lot the metal we have put here. So we are going to use this uh, Gar um, Garagax Sewer. Okay, so we. Shake it well, and we are going to. I'm going to dilute it quite a lot, and apply it over the armor. Okay, you will see that you have this rusted look, all rust. Okay, very easily on all the metallic. Okay, you can see. Let's put it on the armor plate and we are going to see it much better so you can see in that case is a, is a zombie right so you really want to have a really looking uh, old metal and this will help you a lot because has this tonality that will match perfectly with that okay I used to use I got air shade in the past, but I think this you can put more or less, so I will remove a little bit the excess so to keep it more translucent. Okay, so we put it all over because you really want to give in that case it's a zombie, so I want it heavily weathered the, the armor and the metals here. As you can see, I will not do the shield because the shield will go in a bronze color so I will use a different technique for the shield but I'm applying it everywhere and even you can use use it to make a very old looking so if you take this is one thing I like to of the contour paint if I put more intensity and over white I will have here an old looking leather okay so this this is really a color that I'm exploring a lot now I think it's really nice you can see here when we put it on the so it will give this sensation of really weather it and then after that we will need to add a little bit of chain and other uh, um, more orange in some places but it will give you a perfect base to make this old looking metal that I'm applying everywhere okay so I will uh, end up, I will put it on all the other armor parts and I come back to show you how to, after that, work on the armor to make it even look more interesting. Once the contrast has dry, we can use 12 layer orange. We can make some more uh, oranges um, rust. Or you can also use razor rust. Both will do the same work. So I don't want to apply it as a dry, I want to apply it as a uh, paint. This is why I'm uh, almost like a white. So this is why I'm using more the the tallest layer, and we are going to put some just orange here and there. You will see that it will look almost. You want to put it quite thin. It. You see that it's too much. You always can remove a little bit and do like that. Okay, it's just what you want to do mainly is to break the uniformity of the color that we have applied before. You can also do the same here. You want to go like that, and then I'm really coming very thin. So. I'm ensuring that is quite translucent and in case I put too much I always can remove part of it. Okay. This will Okay, 
I will not put in the shoulder part for jumper, but here I will put it on the hole. I can put it on rivets. There are in different parts that you want randomly here and there. If you see a damage that is already there, you can add to make the damage more interesting. Like I have done here, there is this. So this is too much, of course. So if you put too much, just come with water, work it out. So you can. I'm just playing random patches of orange. When the part have dry, you can come back and see if you want to add a little bit more intensity to the orange. No, I just remove the excess. You can see I'm using. Taking advantage of the special texture that the, the tools I have, it's easy to remove. Okay, what we want to do next is we are going to dry brush, but a very dark metal. Okay, I'm going to dry brush this one. No, this one, no, lead belcher. Here I have it. Okay? So I'm going to brush this one. Very softly, and I will try to be quite precise if I can. Okay, I will use this one. I don't need much and I will start on the armor plates you want to put it because at the end the parts that are more exposed on the armor will be a little bit polish okay this is what I'm doing that as well on the blade and I'm using the very dry paint I have on my pot so I try to go, this is why I don't want a very light hairline. I really just want to give a little bit back of the metal sensation. But I can take some of the fresher one. need to clean it well. We will test it first out on the eggs, on the halber, sorry. You can see this is the, the texture that you wanted. Okay, then you can see the metallic particles over all this very dark color. And you want everything to look quite dull. Okay, you can see. Later on, more likely, we'll need to do corrections on other parts. This is why I'm doing the armor first. Ok, 
Okay, and I think like that is good enough. So this again, very easy, quite fast tweak on how to do weather and metal, right? Using the contrast pane, this one here, Garagax Sewer. Okay, so I really like this one. I also use Garagax Sewer to do this dark skin tone here, you can see. Quite interesting for zombies as well. I think looks uh, also can give this look of put with the skin dark, almost a scorch. I think it's it's a very interesting color. I highly recommend. I also use it here on the change. Okay, on the floor. I think here on the change it looks superb. And yeah, of course, in this lady that I shared before, on the knife, I put it very little. Okay, if you go very light, yeah, you can keep as well as well the saw here. On the base, I use the same Garagax Sewer. So yeah, I'm exploring the new contrast paints from Games Workshop, and I find this very interesting, and I highly recommend. Uh, I have uh, find this use for the metallics, but as well. It's a very interesting color to make this dark skin. Okay, so I hope you have liked this video. Please give a like if you like it, share if you think other people can be interested. And let me know if there is any other contrast paint or something like that that you would like me to explore and to find uses. That's all for now, as usual. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.